Namaskaram everyone welcome back to the 8th episode of our master unreal series in this video we are going to update some basic values of movement component that will allow us to tweak the values like speed acceleration and few more this will allow us to walk and run with different speed as you can see on my screen right now if i'm walking it is following certain speed if i run follows some different values so this is what we are going to implement in this video. Let's get started. All right, so we are in our editor now. First, let's set up some settings that has to be followed by the character blueprint at the time of walking and running. So for this, we will create a structure. So under blueprints, you will find this structure. Just create one and name it S underscore locomotion settings. All right. The reason I created this structure is because I want to store a bunch of values that has to be passed to the character movement component when we switch to walking or running because we do not want to run or walk with the same speed. So at the time of walking or at the time of basic locomotion, there are a lot of things uh, as per the physics we consider like what is the maximum speed? What's the acceleration? What is the braking factor? How fast you should stop? How slow or how smooth you should stop, right? So all these variables are present inside this character movement component and we need to update them based on the current locomotion that we will be in. So for this, we are going to store these variables. Let's start from max walk speed. And this would be the float type and I'm going to add some more variables another would be the maximum acceleration and again this one would be float then we have braking deceleration this would be float as well then we have braking friction factor okay and then another one would be the braking friction and the last one would be use separate braking friction and change this type to boolean so these are the information that will change when we switch from walking to running so i have already tested the values so i will provide you directly but before this we need to update these values in the character movement component so for this we are going to create a function that is going to run every time we switch the locomotion like from walking to running or running to walking so let's create a function for this I would name it update CMC vars. All right. And now I'm going to create a variable that is going to store our configuration and let's name it locomotion settings. And let's select the type S underscore locomotion settings. And instead of having single variable type, we want to have map because we want to store same pattern but for different keys. When I say keys, that means different locomotions will have different settings. So at this moment, we just have walking and running, but to store them together in one variable, we need to use map. The beauty of the map is that you just have to provide us the key and the map will give you the value. So first let's change this to string and change this to S locomotion settings and now if you compile and add a default value you will see it will ask you a string as a key so just add walking and now if you expand you see all the properties that are there in this structure are visible to you okay now if you add one more you can name it to running now you have two keys in your map so for walking i have 400 maximum walk speed 350 as acceleration then 400 as braking deceleration and the braking friction factor would be one and for this we have 600 800 600 and one okay so these are the values that i have stored for walking and running now i need to use these values and tell the character movement component to update its values so that the motion speed and all that can be updated based on my locomotion so first thing in input i want to know whether the character is running or not so if character is running then i want to retrieve the running values if i am not then i want to retrieve the walking values so let's bring the select node but i want the select string okay 
don't add the basic select we want to get the is running node so that we can choose the value based on this boolean response so if it is running then a will be returned so i want that to be running otherwise it would be walking make sure the value is same as locomotion settings key otherwise when you will try to find this value in this locomotion settings map it might return null or undefined okay so now to access let's bring this variable and search for find node and this will take in the key because it already knows that the key is of type string so we are providing this string now it will give us the value now since the we have already placed the default value we are sure that it will exist so i will not check whether the value exists or not instead i will bring the value directly so we have to break this value so search for break as locomotion settings now you have all the values that you need so now we can set it up in the character movement component states so for this you need to bring out the components object reference and now search for set max acceleration then search for set max walk speed and then search for set breaking friction and then search for set breaking friction factor and the next one would be set breaking deceleration for walking of course and the last would be set use breaking separate breaking friction and now let's arrange them a little bit nicely okay so i have set up everything in proper order and a little in a nicer way now i can plug these values in so walk speed goes here acceleration goes here braking deceleration goes here and the friction factor goes here and this braking friction goes here and the last one would go here all right so we have everything set now let's bring this update cmc function call here and connect this to this okay okay so now i want this function to be called every time the locomotion changes so for that since we are very simple at this moment i can go to my tag manager and inside notify tag change i will call that function after this locomotion state is changed so for this we are going to bring the get owner so whoever owns this bpc tag component so that is basically our character so we will cast to blueprint of third person character and this will be called here once the casting is done we will call that function that is update cmc vars and the target would be the casted object that will come out of this now we want to plug the is running so for this whatever tag is coming in the notify tag change we want to bring the tag here so i'll search for get tag and i will plug out a matches tag this matches tag will check if the tag is matching with the running or not if the tag is running and it is added then only is running is true otherwise it is not because there is a possibility that is some other tag which has been added or removed but we only care about the running tag so we will just check that and the is added input that we are taking here so i'll check these two if these two are true then only we will consider that the character is running otherwise it's not so now let's hit compile and if i play you can see walk is slow and if i run shift it is running faster all right so this is one there is a small optimization that we can do uh, that is this function will be called every time the locomotion state changes that means if you are walking and then you released your key you will stop and then again you will walk so every time the tag is been added or removed this function will be called so we do not want to update the variables if they are already updated based on the current state so let's create a variable that will keep a check of this so i will say is running let's make it capital i is running settings applied if it is then we do not need to apply if the same status comes in so let's add a branch node here so if the branch node is true then only we will execute all of this but let's also create that condition so we will bring this variable here and we will say is running and we will use something called as xor gate for this so search for xor boolean 
So if the running settings are applied and it says you are running, then both are true. In that case, this will return false. Okay, that means you are running and running settings are applied. That means you don't need to apply it again. But let's say is running is false. That means I'm walking and is running settings applied is also false. That means the walking settings are applied and you are already walking. So this need not to be applied again. Only when these two are opposites, this would return true and this would execute further. The one case is if it is true, you are running and running settings are not applied, then only this will return true or vice versa. So let's connect this to this and this to this and this one to this one. So we also need to update the variable since we are updating the settings. We need to update this boolean response so that it can be used later. And I'll say is running because if it is running, that means running settings is applied. If it is not, then the walking one. And by default, is running settings are applied is set to false. That means it is in a walking settings, but the walking settings are not applied yet because we haven't started moving. So in the event begin play, we can break this and we can call update CMC vars and we will say we are not running. And in that case, it will apply the walking settings. So now if I try walking again and if I run, we can see, okay, you can tweak the values if you want more speed or you want to reduce the acceleration or anything like that. Okay, so that's it for this episode. I wanted to keep this a uh, little short. So in the next, so in the next episode, we are going to address this foot sliding issue that you can see when I'm moving, I slide a little bit. If I run, you can see I'm sliding a bit. So this sliding issue will be fixed using the stride warping approach. And that's the target of our next episode. Till then, like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do let me know your thoughts and comments and see you in the next episode. Bye.